nine five four three two one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen, but this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Revenge or repeat. That's what this fight's about. Mm, what a fight it should be. And what fight are we talking about? Yvonne Mindy and Luke Campbell. Two. Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. The Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Yes. We are talking that fight. The WBC Silver Lightweight Championship. Now, I say revenge or repeat because Yvonne Mindy is the one who gave Luke Campbell his first loss, then following that of Lenores. Cool hand Luke. Fits him because he's not high hands, Luke. He don't throw those hot heat rocks. He's a nice combination puncher, but he don't have that power. So hence, cool hand Luke. It ain't because he's calm. He can say it all he wants. Oh, he's just so calm and cool in the ring. Nah, that motherfucker don't throw those hot rocks. That's what it is. Can't be hot hand Luke. You know, he should be hot, hot hand Luke, but nope, cool hand Luke. And that's really all you can say about Luke Campbell. If that dude had more power, that motherfucker would be deadly. Cause I, I think he's I think he's a pretty solid package, dude. You know? And Yvonne Mindy, he's a overall a nice pressure fighter. You know, high guard. He's going to walk you down. He's good counter puncher. Good, good timing. He punches in between your shots. Now, the true question is, can Luke Campbell stay on his feet? You know, in his two losses, well, in his wins, he's dominating. He's punching combos up and down, down and up, working the body with the hooks, working the face with the hooks, jabbing. He, like I said, he has it all. Uppercuts, jab to the body, jab to the head, hooks, hooks, hooks. Now, when he loses and his two loss, he's done hit the he he hit the mat, and even then he gets up and he makes the fight to the point where you even question, did he come back to steal that? And his losses, none of his losses are yeah he lost that fight, clear domination, no 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 questions asked he lost that fight. Ivan Mindy, there was still some even though it's probably leaning at more favorable that he did lose but you still it's a lot out there saying did he did he lose it's he, did he come back and then Lenares went down in the second made that fight really tough so the, the question is in this fight can Luke Campbell stay on his feet you know and if he can stay on his feet the history shows he has a very good chance of winning this fight now Ivan Mindy did he get better? Because to be honest, from 2015, because I watched, not from 2015, but I watched more since I started this, sh since I, the Double RT Boxing Show started, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Since it has started, the show has covered more Luke Campbell fights, research the fighter Luke Campbell more, so therefore I am more informed about Luke Campbell. The only time I really heard Yvonne Mini besides reading his name in the rankings is when I was doing a Hank Lundy research and uh, I was watching a fight and Hank Lundy's manager was doing a commentary and this, I believe, was in like 2016 fight, 17 fight, and he was saying that the WBC was getting ready to mandate Mandy to fight Lundy for that silver belt. That never happened. So guess the manager didn't have that type of pull but anyway back to Mandy Mindy I'm sorry Mindy this is the first time he's uh, a fight of his is being broken down on the double RT boxing show and from what I've seen from both fighters Luke Campbell has not changed since 
his defeat against Mindy. And since that defeat of Luke Campbell, Mindy has not changed. They have stayed the same fighter. Now, of course, they have gotten older. You know, maybe a little, maybe a little strength has came with. Like I said, maybe some strength has came with those two. But they fight in styles, technique, they have not added nothing to their repertoire. Nothing has left their repertoire. They're the same fighter. Just older and perhaps stronger. I don't think uh, Mindy has aged to the point where he's slowed down. And how do I see this fight playing out? Like I said, the main factor is, is Campbell going to stay up? Because defensively, that little, as if we do the breakdown predictions, the boxes, leg and feet, Mindy's going to come, put the pressure on you, and it's up to Luke Campbell to turn him, keep him center in the ring. And in the first fight, that's when Luke was doing his best. Not moving around the ring, but just keeping him turning slightly left to the right, right to the left. Keeping, because Mindy is great at putting the pressure on you and punching with you or punching right before you punch. Now, if you could keep him turning, his feet aren't quite set. And he can't deliver those hard shots in between your shots. So I like the feet work of Luke. Uh, leg power. I even like how I think Luke gets more like leg setup where he's able to deliver his combinations. Which at the same time, Mindy don't have a problem taking one to throw right in between. And defensively, like I said, legs and feet I go to Luke. Defensively. I'm going to lean with Mindy because even though it doesn't look like he's doing much movement, he's catching a lot of shots on arm, glove, uh, elbows, shoulders. He's catching a lot of punches and he's not getting hit flush. And like I said, he's throwing with you and he and you're getting the damage while he's just catching and grazing. Your shots are grazing him. And this is where it gets tricky because Campbell, if you watch his fights and, it's, and he hasn't changed, you can see Mindy was timing him really well. Campbell throws like a one, two, and they're not usually hard. The third and fourth punches are the hard punches. And Mindy was timing that. He, he was taking the one, two, bow, and throw it right before the three comes. Or he'll throw it right before the two comes. And, and, and most of the time, like I said, Campbell's first two punches aren't the hardest. Even when he throws a one-two, unless it's like a maybe the two is the left hook to the body, the one-two ain't that hard. And Mindy times it perfect all the time. And if and if he's if he doesn't time it with it, right after this, right after Campbell's done throwing, but he leaves himself open. If you watch his fights, his head is on the track, and after his, after he punches, he leaves himself open, and Mindy fires right at it so defensively I like Mindy for catching the gloves and I like him his transition from defense to offense I think he does it better than Campbell I think he's able to block and fire while Campbell fires and can't go into defense and when he goes from defense he doesn't quite go into offense as fast and offensive like I think Campbell has a better jab it's not as powerful as Mindy's but the use of it is better. I think his punch combination and selection is better. It just, he don't have the power. Man. And Mindy just puts pressure, puts power. Like I said, the first fight, I think this fight is going to be the same. I really do. Now, if Campbell wants to re get revenge, he's going to have to move in circle. Move in circle. Keep Mindy in the center and keep his feet resetting so he can't always get the proper power and punching in between them and for Mindy to repeat just do the same thing put the pressure catch those punches on the gloves time him because he's like I said he, he didn't get faster he didn't like he might got a little bit stronger and I, I'm gonna go with I'm going with repeat as much as I don't want to I, I, I like Luke Campbell a lot I think he could, I think 
him and Mikey Garcia would be a seriously a under a underestimated good fight. But I don't know, man. Until I see Luke Campbell win a good one, like I said, he lost Mindy last time. He stepped up in, again and he fought Lanares. He lost. I need Luke Campbell to show me he's more than a mid-level lightweight. I need him to show me uh, what 140 super lightweight. I need him to show me that uh, he is that next level guy because th this is a uh, super lightweight right 140 and yeah I'm gonna go with Mindy to do the exact same thing but I don't know if he's gonna put Campbell on the ground this time that I don't she was if, if Campbell don't hit the ground he wins though but Mindy said he's gonna knock Campbell out which is possible very very possible but before I go I want to find out for myself. Lightweight, 135. Lightweight, 140 is the progress of them. Sorry, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go with repeat. I'm gonna go with Mindy. As I was really iffy on this one, but I'm going with Mindy to do the same thing they did in the first fight, make it a close fight, but just the pressure. He's gonna be catching the shots. So do you want to do you want to judge the work rate of Campbell? But his shots won't be hitting as flesh and clean where Mindy's going to be punching between them, hitting the body, hitting the head, snapping. I think it's the same thing is going to happen. We'll see. We'll see if the home, if he fought in front of his home crowd before, so, and Campbell didn't do it. We'll, like I said, we'll see if Campbell's changed. I don't think he has. I don't think any of these fighters changed. Thank you for tuning in. The Double RT Boxing Show, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show on Twitter at RRTB Show. My thumb to you for tuning in. Bring it on back. Support the show. New viewers, subscribe somewhere around there. Thank you.